Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I could be talking about you, but I mean your person and vice versa, guys. We're going to jump right in. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have religious factors. Your love life is in influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. This is my Twin Flame card also, guys. So you guys could be dealing with the Twin Flame. If not, don't take it. We have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. You deserve love. You are lovable. I keep hearing that Ellie Mae song. Um, naked. So there could be messages in there for you guys. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. It's pretty straightforward, right? If you're here for a specific <laughs> specific answer, yes, this is your soulmate. Period. <laughs> Alright, bottom of the deck, past life relationship. You have known each other before. We're going to pull some Beach Time Soul Tarot, or Oracle, rather, sorry, just to get a little bit more. So the one that wanted to pop out was not enough. So let's see what else we have. God, Michael, Spirit, Messages for the Collective, Heart with a Key, Welcoming Love, Meeting the One, Open Your Heart, Getting Together, Perfect. Okay, we have, I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date, the chaser, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, and then we have palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. And we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Alright, let's get some tarot. God, Michael, spirit, messages for the collective at this time to help them on their journey to their highest and greatest good. Let's fix this so you guys can see. Okay, so we got Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pen sorry, Eight of Pentacles, the Devil, Justice, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and Ten of Wands. And on the bottom of the deck we have Ace of Wands. this over guys so I feel like someone could be going to therapy or talking with someone trying to heal and love themselves first and I feel like 
even if it's not consciously, subconsciously, they're doing it for you because they believe that you're their soulmate twin flame, the one, and they're wanting to rush towards you, but something is stopping them. So I feel like they're focusing on healing that at this very moment in time. They do want to express to you that they do feel like you guys have a spiritual connection. Um, however, that resonates for you guys. Uh, they do want to express the love that they have for you. Uh, this person could be younger than you here. The masculine energy could be younger. Or more like... Um, I don't want to say immature in like a negative sense, but more um, maybe their soul is younger. They could have tattoos on their arm here because I'm being drawn to these tattoos. But they're wanting to give you your flowers, not actual flowers like um, validation I'm hearing, love. They feel that you are very deserving of um, like a, a stable life and stability. So they want to come to you correct. This could be why they're doing a lot of healing. They could want to move in with you also. Definitely picking up on um, someone could be driving past your house like to see if you're home or looking you up on social media, or even trying to Google you to find out information about you. Let's clarify this devil. I'm hearing desperation right now. So, God, Michael Spirit, can I get one card to clarify the devil for the collective? Yeah, they're, they're aware that you're their wish fulfillment here with this nine of cups and this devil energy this sometimes with this nine of cups could be um selfishness too so with the devil that could very well be that that they're being a little too selfish right now because they don't like um that like they're taking their time with this whole process allowing you to be the chaser is what i'm hearing i'm hearing it's um Kind of like flattering for them. Like you make them feel good about themselves. But that's not a very good energy to be in the way it's coming up though. They are really working hard though. With um, trying to give you equally what you give them. They do want a passionate new beginning. We're seeing the Ace of Wands again. And they're needing to close out cycles here. They definitely have woken up to uh yeah to the way they feel about you here with the the three of swords and the the star card we've seen two cards of wish fulfillment now here a lot of healing has been going on they're aware that they've put you in a position where you were an option instead of the choice and that they were always in this standstill crossroads energy, knowing deep down that they, they did want something with you, even if they were coming out as pages. Very optimistic. King of Cups is a lot of love, guys. They have a lot of love for you, and they want to express that. Um, I'm almost feeling like they feel like it's going to be a tower moment, though. You guys could be friends or you guys could work together. This could be why they're feeling that way, but um, they do know they have to go in this emperor energy, this boss energy, and end something to be able to come towards you. This new beginning that they're wanting with you, like they're wanting to bring justice to this situation, because you do bring them like their true happiness and they enjoy being with you. They feel like you guys together are very fun. You have a lot of uh, fun together and they feel like you're the only person that gets them. A lot of this one energy is what I'm being brought to. Oneness, the one, soulmate, twin flames. 
you guys have had past lives together and I do believe it's been many past lives together and this is what I think you guys are healing from. This brings them a lot of sleepless nights though. They could be having nightmares about you that they're going to mess things up. Like they have trust issues and they're so afraid that they're going to mess it up. I'm hearing that song stay. Um, the Bieber part. It's been difficult for me to trust And I'm afraid that I'ma fuck it up I can never leave you stranded Cause you ain't never left me empty handed Sorry about my voice, my allergies are kicking my ass the last few days But yeah, that's the part that I was picking up on Let's uh, clarify this Eight of Pentacles, yeah Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and Temperance comes out again. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but I do feel heavily they are working really hard with healing. They could be going to like a spiritual guru or a tarot reader or just like a therapist in general. It could be manifesting, researching into like candle magic and um, like crystals and stuff. But it's because they're wanting to rush towards you. Because they've been in a very slow energy. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is down here too. They want to give you what you deserve is what I'm hearing. Sorry, I just hit. Let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. That's a lot. So what came out was the King of Cups, Page of Cups, the Tower again. Three of Pentacles and the Emperor. Again, while well, same setup. So, yeah. Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I'm getting heavenly. This is like a forbidden love type of thing with you guys. I don't know why I'm getting that. But it's almost like they're keeping their feelings away from you and very close to their chest. Like keeping their feelings away. Like almost like a pro. <laughs> Nobody around could actually know what they're going through. And I think that's why this might be coming out as a tower. It's because you're going to be so taken back because in your head you feel this. Your intuition is screaming that you feel this. But um, it's, like when, uh, <laughs> it's like when people say they believe in aliens, right? But if aliens come on Earth, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, it's a fucking UFO. <laughs> You know, like, it, it's one of those things. Let's clarify this chaser energy. We have the sun, the queen of wands, five of pentacles. Yeah, you definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, um, Leo. Knight of pentacles. Yeah, it, it's almost like now that they're gaining their confidence and they see that you're their happiness they're so afraid that you're going to reject them from taking so long but they they finally woke up to this this union here like it's almost like they're saying i'm such an idiot why didn't i see this before and they're wanting to reconcile they really are so destined connection I feel like they're bored right now with their life and you you make them feel alive. You guys could be manifesting each other or this person could be newly single here because the magician energy is um, a single man. It doesn't have to be a man though. It could be man, woman. Take it out, resonates. Let's clarify this 10 of wands here, please. God, Michael, spirit for the collective. Let's clarify this 10 of wands. Ten of Wands, please. God, Michael, Spirit. Ten of Wands. Let's get one card to clarify. No way you touch. You're the reason I believe in love. Well, same setup. Three of Cups, King of Swords, and Four of Cups. Okay, so this could be a third party. doesn't have to be. Take it only if it resonates. 
This could be a friend you're dealing with also. We've seen the three of pentacles that could symbolize work or friendship, and now we're seeing this three of cups, which can be hanging out with friends, partying, just friends in general, reconciliation, third party. Um, but it's almost like you could be dealing with an air sign also here with this king of swords. Someone who's really in their head that overthinks. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This could have to do with the family situation here, guys. That's coming to an end. Ten, ten. New beginnings. They're bored. They're bored in this uh, relationship. And um, I'm hearing feeling a little bit trapped. So this could be their burdens that they're dealing with at this very moment in time. Is trying to... To really become in that magician energy, that single energy. So just needing to to plan a little bit more. Be be a little bit patient is what I'm hearing. Just split the deck at the lovers, twin flame. This is a powerful love connection here with the lovers card. Again, air sign, Gemini, knight of wands. They're very passionate about you with the lovers and the knight of wands. Chemistry, magnetic pull, passion, desire. You guys do not lack that at all. I saw temperance again with the five of cups. So they're healing from something that they're grieving something heavy. I'm almost hearing their, yeah, wow, as dude, so crazy what I'm about to tell you guys. What I'm hearing is they're almost trying to get out of one situation to move on to another one like leave one family household dynamic to move into a house with you and create a family with you and the full card comes out which the full uh, card is like taking a leap of faith it's jumping in, it's new beginning um you know it's called the fool because it's not it's almost trying to get out of that king of swords where you're trying to be super practical all the time and they're just wanting to jump you know, but this is where they go back and forth is that that king of swords being intellectual and practical and then jumping into passion, go where it makes me happy. You know, that kind of thing. I just saw 725. And this could be why they go back and forth is because their burdens and responsibilities. They feel very overwhelmed right now, constraint, burned out. Um, they could be having trouble sleeping, like I said nightmares they could be dreaming about you too is what i'm hearing um they could have had a really significant dream about you recently that like kind of changed everything for them is what i'm hearing um yeah they're going through a, a spiritual awakening right now a lot is going on they could be uh changing jobs or getting a new job or just working really hard at their job to make money. Don't be um don't be fooled guys though, you know? Sometimes working really hard is um like basically the way I was raised was you work for everything you get. So bust your ass working, you know, all day every day if you need to to get the life that you need and I'm guilty of this like for the last 3 years I've worked, I, I almost, until I got hurt recently, um, I worked like almost every day. I only had like two days off a month randomly, but I worked like 15 plus hour days. It was, it was super crazy because um, I was working and then I had my family life. My son was in soccer, uh, all this stuff. So I was one of those where you're not going to get anywhere until, unless you work. You work your ass off, you provide for your family, you protect you do all of this. You persevere. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Put that shit in the back burner. Do what you got to do for your family, you know. But we don't want to be in that deceptive energy where we're not taking care of ourselves, not loving ourselves here, and just working because, like, we're working so hard, so hard to get everything that we want because that sometimes blocks our actual blessings, guys, and it kind of blocks our mentality to... Uh, receive financial abundance, you know? I mean, it took me getting hurt to put the brakes on me working, but 
it gave me the ability to be able to do this, you know, focus on starting this channel up. You know, now I'm back to work, um, slowly back to work because my head, my leg is not 100%, but I'll get to where I'm going. Yeah, and as I say that, so are you guys. You guys are going to find your happiness by yourself. You're going to love each other. Uh, sorry, you're going to love yourself. And in turn, you will love each other the right way. Because you both have had a lot of um, a lot of enlightenment within each other. Uh, within yourselves alone during the separation. I think during the separation, you guys have found the key ingredient to loving yourself. Yeah. And in turn, it's you two working together energetically. You know, this could be physically too, guys. Um but spiritually, you definitely have been, yeah, I just split the deck again at Lovers. You guys are connected. You could be dealing with a, uh, a twin flame. I'm getting that heavy star card, Empress, uh, Judgment. I just saw you guys could be healing karma from a past life situation to you guys. Can you get some advice for the collective? Oh, advice for the collective. And I'm staring at the, the high priestess in the sun. Let's get some advice. Wow, Emperor. I mean, Empress, sorry. Yeah, so your advice is uh, Empress energy. Stay in that loving energy. You know, with the Empress shooting out on the devil, someone does find you very attractive. Very alluring is what I'm hearing. Very strong, very resilient, almost to the point where they don't know how you do it. How you go through such bad shit and like bounce back all the time is what I'm hearing. But they find you very beautiful like inside and out as a person. Your energy is like very intoxicating to them is what I'm hearing. Alright, let's pull some messages and then we're going to close this out guys. Actually, I'm going to give you a lover's oracle too. So just stick around for that. God, Michael, spirit messages from the collective person at this time. Messages from the collectives. I hid who I really am from you. I knew exactly what I was doing is on the bottom of the deck. I was called to look at that. I regret lying to you. Um, this landed over the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So this regret of lying to you could have been um, having to do with being in a relationship with you and not expressing their feelings the, the way they should have. I wish I could share my good news with you. That could be their news as they, um, they found out that they do really love you. Yeah, and again, I'm, I'm hearing, um, I'm seeing how this landed over the King of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I left you before you could leave me. They could have ghosted you. They could have just, like, taken off on you. One minute they were there, and the next they were gone, is what I'm hearing. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, go check out that song, um, Stay by Justin Bieber and Kid Leroy. I keep hearing that in my song. And Ella May, I think her name is, uh, Naked. That's a good song, too. Um, that's what I, I kept hearing in the beginning. I wish things could be different. <laughs> I just heard them make it different. <laughs> Remember, Empress Energy, Divine Feminines. Let's be patient. You speak to me through music. And this could be why I'm channeling a lot of music here, guys. As I say that, um, I just, in my head, I just heard uh, Die For You by The Weeknd, I think it's called. Bottom of the deck, the timing just wasn't right for us. Exactly. It's all about divine timing, guys. If you don't believe in timing, it's all about healing. It's all about when people are ready to bring, bring themselves to you. You don't want unhealed energies around you. We don't have to be perfect. Not financially, not emotionally, not physically, none of that. But we got to be willing to work on it with each other. 
right, so this is the first lover's oracle, and it says, when it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Exactly, guys. There's no right or wrong with this. You have this lovely card right here. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events, for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. And then we have this lovely card. It says, wait. <laughs> Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Exactly, guys. Don't rush into it. Let everyone do what they need to do. Nobody wants to be in this chaser or runner energy. You know? We want just ready energy and then on the bottom of the deck we have this lovely card right here criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform underneath that is passion a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present enjoy it and then i'm being called one more Ooh, well friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve and we, yeah, you guys very well could be dealing with a friend because we, we were picking that up heavy in this reading. So I hope this helps, guys. Please hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video if you like this content. Peace. Love you.